What's going on y'all? Jake from Big Dudes here with Clay. Today we're going to be doing a pedal review on the Game Changer Audio Plus Sustain pedal. I've got a PRS SE Custom 24 going through, again, the orange Crush Pro 60. And I've got a blue baby bottle on the cab. It's going to sound great. And we'll cut there. <laughs> um, all right, so the uh, sustain pedal here has a few different knobs. It's got blend, rise, sustain, and tail. And then on the side here, you can select between group and single and split mix. We'll go ahead and explain all of those. In addition, on the side here, we've got an effects send. So if you want, you can use this pedal, send out to something else like a chorus or a vibrato or something, and come right back in and make that sustain tail super wavy or, or whatever you really want. Pretty sick. So as far as our front panel here, uh, the blend knob is going to be exactly what you think it is. It's going to blend in the amount of sustain you're hearing through the pedal. Uh, so I'm going to keep that at halfway for now. As far as rise goes, that's going to be how much the sustain rises up in volume after you touch it. So if I have it low down here, it's just going to bump up. It's going to be right there. If I have it high, when I hit this, it's going to slowly rise in volume. As far as the sustain knob goes, all the way down is going to act like a, a normal string sustain, so it's going to hit and then it's going to immediately go down. Um, but if I turn this up all the way, I can actually sustain pretty much forever, uh, infinite, is how it is shown here on the, on the pedal itself. Last knob right here is the tail knob. That's going to be the amount, of, um, the amount of signal that I hear after this pedal is disengaged. So if I have it low, I'm not going to hear anything. If I have it all the way up, then once I release the pedal, I'll still hear all of that tail forever, infinity. As far as the side goes, these two switches here, the group and single switch is having to do with the amount of uh, tracks that I can record over or that I can sustain over. This pedal has the option to go up to five separate tracks, which is what they call it. Um, all together. So that means I can I can hit a note, I can sustain it, and then if I have this group switch selected, I can hit another note while that first note is sustained. Press this down halfway, it'll start sustaining the second note as well, all the way up to five notes. If I have it in single mode, it's going to act more like a piano uh, sustain, where it, it cuts off the note every time I release the pedal. Uh, as far as the split mix knob goes, that is just for your outputs. On the back here, we've got the input here. We've got a clean out, um, which can also be used with a, a foot switch, and then the normal out. So if I have it here in the mix position, I'm going to hear all of my signal through this out. If I have it through the split position, then I'm going to hear my clean signal out of this output and only my sustain out of this one. So with that, we're going to move the camera up close, play around with it, and let you guys hear what's going on. Thank you. 